time. Get over here. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm just on my way. <sighs> David! It's David! Hey! Hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's traffic. It's just backed up for miles. He's dead. No! No! I, I, I tried! You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Come on, please! Please don't do that! Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? We're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. Donde esta Javier? Donde esta mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand like a good son, and he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? Well, go on then. Hit me, all right, if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. So you go ahead. Yeah, I intend to. Uncle Javi? Why are you fighting? I could hear you from inside. What's going on? Don't worry, Gabe. We're just horsing around. Just a joke between brothers, you know? Yeah. Your uncle doesn't know how to take anything seriously. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? Fuck off. You think I was jealous of you. No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right. I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You can count, count on it, it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. I think we should probably get going. We will. I just need to know how fast they're moving. Damn it. I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on. We should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah.
It looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. Hey, you're the one with the notebook. I leave that decision to you. Cool. Awesome. Because I was just using this thing to sketch it. Was I supposed to be writing something down? We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. Do you want me to do that? The last joint you rolled looked like a kazoo. You're driving, and I've come a long way since then. Uh, it was like three days ago. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Yeah. Okay, sure. <coughs> we are setting an awesome example. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. Or at least you'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> I suppose it did. He was always stubborn like that. Even when we were kids. He saw the world in a certain way. And he'd try and make you see it that way too. So that's where Gabe gets it from. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Uh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously. Look, I didn't sign up for this either. Sometimes life decides for you. That sounded deep, didn't it? Uh, no. No, it didn't. Look, I love these kids. But I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Nah, he's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. Oh yeah, the second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. <sighs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with... Bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ. I need to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. Oh, I can pull over. It wouldn't take a minute. <sighs> wouldn't be worth it for just a minute. Huh. My family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Fucking asshole. Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. 
We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm already having a bad fucking day here. This is not what it looks like. What it looks like is you shot an unarmed guy in the back. Or is that not what I saw? Okay. Now don't do anything stupid, because I'll shoot a lot quicker than you did. You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. That van is our home. It's all we got. That sounds like a no. How about you just give me directions like a normal person? How about I shoot you and take the van anyway? This is a better deal for you. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Well... Thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. You give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against.
Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Sounds kind of lonely if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Wonder if it's loaded. Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. You got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Nah, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well... Maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Good looking hand there. But not good looking enough. God damn it. Shit, sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries. And he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. 
Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Okay, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. Yeah, no kidding. It's freezing outside. The sooner the better, for sure. No more winters ever again, Clem. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get a really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I, I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. The duck was gabbing a mile a minute his age. It wasn't full sentences, but it was something. AJ's a survivor. He knows making too much noise will only get him killed. But he's a kid. Kids shouldn't have to worry about that sort of thing. I got it! Turn the wheel! Don't!
okay, Jay? Oh, God. You're okay. Kenny? Okay. Shit. Help me up. I don't. I don't feel anything. Oh, th that's good. No, Clem. I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. Damn it! Well, I, I can get you into the car! I don't... <clears throat> Shit! This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! <laughs> you gotta go help AJ, Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. No, I won't give up on you! No, Clementine, no! There's no point! Come on, Kenny, help me! Not today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! Hurt yourself. Must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. Soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. I'm sure they do. I'm gonna stay in until my fingers get all pruney. Between you and me? These kinds of missions don't usually go so well, but you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. I wasn't expecting this. Believe me, to have my family back together again, it's... I get it. I do. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Thanks. Javi, help! Do something, Javi! 
to do something! Needs a doctor. Which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna kill all of them. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? So what? I'm just supposed to let him live? If you wanna do what's right for your family, you'll come with me. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here right now! I already now. killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No! Uh, Javi, you have to come with us! Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi! Please come with us! Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid! Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Poppy, don't! 